Humanity's greatest journey begins Voyager 1 Humanity's bold and enduring message from the edge of space. Far beyond the moon, the majestic planets, and even the icy outskirts of Pluto, a small yet extraordinary creation drifts in the darkness silent but strong. It doesn't carry astronauts. It wasn't built with artificial intelligence or modern computers. And yet, it holds a title no other machine has ever earned the farthest human-made object from Earth. Launched by NASA in 1977, Voyager 1 has now traveled more than 14 billion kilometers through space. It has crossed the limits of our sun's warmth and entered a remote, unexplored region known as interstellar space a place where starlight fades, familiar constellations dissolve, and the reach of our solar system begins to weaken. Out there, Voyager 1 sails quietly through a vast sea of cosmic radiation and invisible energy fields forces we're still learning to understand. And what's truly astonishing? Despite being more than 45 years old, this spacecraft still talks to us. Using just a 20-watt transmitter no stronger than a household light bulb Voyager sends data across unimaginable distances. Its instruments, designed over five decades ago, continue to function with surprising accuracy. Imagine asking a rotary phone to send a message from beyond the edge of the solar system and somehow, it delivers. And it keeps delivering. Voyager 1 hasn't just survived it's still exploring. Still collecting data. Still revealing secrets from the deepest, darkest parts of space we've never seen before. Sparkles a rare planetary opportunity Voyager's epic story didn't begin with liftoff it began with vision and timing. In the early 1970s, NASA engineer Gary Flandro, working at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, discovered something extraordinary. Once every 176 years, the outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune align in such a way that a single spacecraft could use each planet's gravity to slingshot from one to the next. This maneuver, called gravity assist, would allow a spacecraft to travel faster and farther while using far less fuel. Instead of taking 30 years to reach Neptune, it could get there in just 12 saving time, money, and energy. NASA knew it couldn't miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So, in August and September 1977, they launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 2 and Voyager 1, just 15 days apart. Originally, the Voyager mission was only expected to last four years a brief tour of Jupiter and Saturn. But no one could have imagined what would happen next. Against all odds, these spacecraft would go on to become the longest operating and most successful deep space explorers in human history. Ringed planet exploring the giant outer planets Voyager 1, followed by Voyager 2, gave us our very first close-up views of the mysterious outer planets. They sent back spectacular images of Jupiter's swirling storms, including the famous Great Red Spot a colossal hurricane more than twice the size of Earth. They revealed the elegant, icy rings of Saturn, showing their composition of frozen particles and cosmic dust. But perhaps the most groundbreaking discovery came from one of Jupiter's moons Io. Voyager spotted active volcanoes erupting, making it the first time volcanic activity had ever been witnessed beyond Earth. This shattered our assumptions about other worlds showing us that moons, too, could be alive. Globe Voyager 2's grand extension while Voyager 1 continued its own path, Voyager 2 took advantage of the rare alignment to visit the remaining outer planets. It became the first and only spacecraft to visit Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. There, it uncovered unexpected features tilted magnetic fields, mysterious dark storms, and freezing, fast-moving winds. Neptune's intense blue color and dynamic weather shocked scientists who had only ever seen it as a blurry dot in the sky. These flybys transformed what were once vague specks of light into real, living worlds with weather, chemistry, and complexity. Gear built to last, despite being created in the 1970s, the Voyager probes are marvels of durability and engineering. Each one is about the size of a Volkswagen Beetle powered by plutonium-based generators that convert heat into electricity. They carry only 69 kilobytes of memory not even enough to store a single email today and store their data on magnetic tape. And yet, they survived the treacherous asteroid belt, the intense radiation fields around Jupiter, and the absolute cold of deep space. 
Their instruments have collected everything from plasma wave data to magnetic field measurements, all transmitted through NASA's vast deep space network. But the Voyager mission was never just about gathering information. It was about expanding our understanding of the universe. It was about reshaping how we see our solar system, our galaxy, and even Voyager 1 into the unknown shooting star crossing the final frontier after decades of travel through the solar system. Voyager 1 reached the very boundary scientists had long theorized about the heliopause. This invisible border marks the edge of our sun's influence. It's where the solar wind a stream of charged particles flowing outward from the sun meets the colder, denser forces of interstellar space. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 made history. It became the first human-made object to cross the heliopause and officially enter interstellar space a realm untouched by any machine or person before. It was a moment of pride, awe, and deep reflection proof that a spacecraft launched in the 1970s had reached a place no human had ever imagined seeing. Yet, the moment was not what scientists expected. They had predicted a sudden spike in cosmic rays, a dramatic shift in magnetic fields, and clear signs of entry. Instead, the change was gradual and subtle. Cosmic ray levels did increase, but the magnetic field barely shifted. This left scientists puzzled. Could the heliopause be more like a soft, changing zone than a sharp border? Was the sun's magnetic field aligned in such a way that it masked the change? Was Voyager telling us that the boundaries between star systems were blended, not separated? These unexpected results weren't disappointments, they were breakthroughs. They reminded us that the cosmos often resists our assumptions. The edge of the solar system wasn't just a finish line, it was a gateway to something far more mysterious. Cyclone Interstellar Discoveries A new map of space once beyond the heliopause, Voyager 1 began its most groundbreaking phase, mapping interstellar space. Despite being more than 45 years old, Voyager's instruments were still functioning. Its sensors started detecting plasma waves low-frequency vibrations caused by charged particles. These readings revealed something astonishing. Space isn't a silent, empty void. It's filled with charged gas, drifting in clouds of varying density and energy. These waves weren't random. They appeared to be the aftershocks of ancient supernovae, the remnants of stars that exploded millions of years ago. Every fluctuation Voyager recorded offered a glimpse into the long, complex history of our galaxy. It helped scientists understand how matter, energy, and magnetic fields interact and evolve in the vast space between stars. Voyager 1 revealed that interstellar space once thought to be cold and quiet is in fact dynamic and alive. It's a place where magnetic fields twist, plasma clouds shift, and the energy of long-gone stars still echoes across the dark. All of this was uncovered by a spacecraft powered by technology older than most modern scientific calculators. Built when computers filled entire rooms yet still gathering data no other machine has delivered. Satellite dish a voice from the edge of the galaxy today. Voyager 1 continues its silent voyage alone drifting more than 14 billion kilometers away. Its faint radio signal traveling at the speed of light takes over 22 hours to reach Earth. The signal is incredibly weak. The spacecraft's power supply is slowly running out. Its systems, long past their intended lifespan, are beginning to shut down one by one. And yet Voyager is still alive. Still collecting data. Still sending whispers from the void still reminding us that even the most distant parts of space are within reach if we dare to go. Voyager 1's mission has become much more than a scientific endeavor. It is a testament to the power of vision, persistence, and imagination. Globe a message for the stars aboard Voyager is one final gift from Earth the Golden Record. This gold-plated phonograph disc carries a collection of Earth's greetings, natural sounds, images, and music. It includes messages in 55 languages, from ancient dialects to modern tongues. It features songs by Beethoven, Blind Willie Johnson, and traditional world music. It contains images of our people, our animals, our landscapes and our desire to connect. The Golden Record is a time capsule, a cosmic message in a bottle. 
It was designed by a team led by astronomer Carl Sagan, who believed it could serve as a greeting to any intelligent life that might someday discover it. On the record are the words, to the makers of music all worlds, all times. Voyager carries this message into the void. Not expecting a reply, but offering connection. Sparkles a legacy that will outlive us all eventually, Voyager 1's signal will go silent. Its systems will shut down. Its instruments will rest. But even when the spacecraft stops transmitting, it will continue drifting quietly, endlessly between the stars. It may sail for millions even billions of years, passing through other star systems, silent and unobserved. A small fragment of humanity wandering far from home. Its mission will become a memory, but its journey will never be forgotten. Voyager 1 has shown us what is possible. That even a humble machine, built with care and purpose, can travel beyond imagination. That human curiosity and courage can reach across the galaxy. Milky Way The Final Thought Voyager 1 is more than a spacecraft. It is a symbol of who we are. We are explorers. We are dreamers. We are creators. And even in the vast silence of space,